Welcome back to the Chance Bishop Show YouTube for episode number 40 of our Madden 22 Philadelphia Eagles franchise. Remember in the playoffs, we had the week one bye right there. So, you saw we were taking on the Vikings right now. Vikings, said they had a week one win, right? Wild card win. So, we're taking on the Vikings in the divisional round, which is pretty wild. Pretty rad right there, if I do say so myself. Definitely the best offensive weapon is going to be Dalvin Cook. And we're going to run at them. I know Danielle Hunter, he's he's pretty good at the whole defensive thing, but I think the run defense is a little sus. Especially got Miles Sanders running at them all day long. Speed through these injuries reports, see if anyone comes up hurt. No one on defense of significance comes up hurt. Offensively, let's see how the pot's cooking. Let's see what we're looking at right here. And a high go spray for Jason Kelsey. Oh boy. And they hit pointer for Mitchell Schwartz. So, our starting center, our team captain, the man who probably went to miss this game for the world. This man could have, you know, probably broken his arm, and he still will go out there and play with the with the cast on. But missing Jason Kelsey, Kelsey, he's on the sideline this game. He's hyping the team up before the game, saying, "I'm not going to be out there, boys, but I'm going to be on the sideline, being your biggest fan." He's going to be the cheerleader this game, Jason Kelsey, Mitchell Schwartz, back up, you know, long time Kansas City Chief. Right? Offensive line, Kansas City Chiefs. You know, both of those guys are out. So definitely going to strain the offensive line a little bit, especially when it comes to depth. You know, if, if someone else comes up hurt, you know, Schwartz is going to be out. So we're going to be relying on uh, Toth and Driscoll uh, mainly. So actually, guys, we've got Sayamalu starting at center this game. It's, it's going to be a lot to try and work through to figure out what's going to go on with, 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 with what's going on right now. But definitely we have to figure out what's best for this team. In a sense where, you know, what do we do with the offensive line? Because Jalen Hurts out here, it's the snow. Sure, you, you have, you have you know, Malata, you have Johnson, you have Landon Dickerson. I believe we have Brandon Brooks. Brandon Brooks, I believe, is starting. I believe he's not hurt. Fingers crossed that he's actually not hurt right now, which definitely would be a bummer. If Brandon Brooks does actually become, you know, hurt or is is hurt right now, because that's not that's not what this team needs, not what this team wants. It's it's definitely a we we have to figure this out right now, as soon as possible, mainly because what else could possibly go wrong, especially if you come with another injury, you know, especially if if Sanders goes down, can we rely on Kenny Gainwell? So I mean. It's, it's going to go down to how well can the offensive line block their defense. You know, keep Hurts healthy, keep Sanders healthy. You know, extend plays long enough where we're going to be looking at, you know, made passes to, to deep to Devontae, passes to, to Jamison, to Quez, maybe Jalen Rager too, get him involved, see if he could see the field. He hasn't really seen the field. I don't think he saw the field all season this year. And I think he's on the field for a couple plays, just never... There's not enough to be relevant in the passing offense, it seems like, which is unfortunate for Rager because he was a former first-round draft pick. But Kirk Cousins on the season, 39-27-8. Very Kirk Cousins numbers right there. Third and one now for Kirk Cousins. Hand off to David Cook. And Cook uh, just easily sneaks over that line. Flag on that play, though, so maybe a holding, maybe coming backwards. And yes! Boy, Andy gets a hold. It's going to be on Justin Jefferson. Told you Jalen Rager was better. And Fletcher Cox comes up with an injury too, which a lot happening on that play right now. Dislocated ankle. That's not That's not what you want to see. That's going to be some time missed right there. Harry Gray going to step up as, you know, D-tackle one. But Marlon and Milton stepping up is going to be D-tackle two. Kirk Cousins, third and seven sack. This time, Brandon Graham and Josh Sweat both get in on that action. Love to see that right there. You know, a hole in the gates, a first down, a pass rush, you know, just forces the punt. Hurts, who didn't get an intro for some reason. Okay, it's fine. I don't want to get an intro to Jalen Hurts anyway. But take a look at Jalen Hurts go. First down. First and ten here in this snow. Snow's not coming down too hard. Bit of flurries. Uh, but Miles Sanders. Oh, makes a man miss. And he's got an open lane. The ten, the five, and a touchdown. Making a snow angel right there. Doing a little flippy do In the end zone. Sipping some tea right there. Battling to everyone. Ooh, big boy 
Miles Sanders get touchdown. And Jake Elliott, ooh, shanks the extra point right there. That wind is kicking down there at the link. So maybe, maybe settle for uh, two-point conversions from now on. Third and one, Kirk Cousins finds open receiver right there. That's going to be number 87. First and 10, here we go. Hand off, play action to Cook. And Cook, you know, kind of uh, playing bait right there. Justin Jefferson gets open long enough to get that first down catch. First and 10 following that Jefferson reception. It's going to be a handoff to Cook. And Cook fumbles the ball. Picked up, though, by Kirk Cousins. Made a business decision right there to save that one. I mean, I could have uh, could have been an injury right there for Kirk. But no, he, he decided to risk it for his team. Unlike, say, like Cam Newton. Some other quarterbacks that don't really tackle. Teddy Bridgewater. But missed tackle right there. Leads to a first down for Madison. One catch for 11 yards. Third and eight now. Come on. No pressure. Just get a sack right now. There you go. Sack. Fumble. Picked up by the Eagles defense right there. It's number 93. I believe that's Milton. Milton's 93. Milton's 93, right? Or is Milton? Or, which one was 93? Milton or Marlin? Now Hurts. Got himself a wide open Devontae. And Devontae. Kind of skirt out of bounds right there. Is DeMarvin Leal. The rookie defensive tackle comes up with an injury. Second to go from the six-yard line right now for Philadelphia. Philadelphia in the driver's seat. Hands off to Sanders, and Sanders gets uh, tackled into the end zone. Flexed by 23 right there, Xavier Rhodes, who, who hits him into the end zone. So a made extra point leads to a Dalvin Cook first down right there. Up to the 33-yard line, 7 for 38. Now fast forward, it's first and goal on the 1. Pressure, no pressure. Jefferson, Jefferson gets that touchdown. Jefferson puts on the Jets right there. Gets himself a touchdown. You hate to see that right there. Now, 7-13 ball game here is Hurts. Going to roll out to the right side of the field. He's going to get the check down to Devontae, who's just going to stand there wide open. So Hurts, 2-for-2 two for, two for 29 yards. Both catches going to Devontae Smith. Now, second and seven. That ball picked off right there. Hurts, uh, an ill-advised throw in the snow. Just shrugging off tackles left and right. And a pick six. Three, four broken tackles right there. Okay. That's um not ideal to happen. But 14 to 13 now is of the game as the Vikings take a one-point lead. Miles Sanders making some magic right there. Making some people miss. Doing some dances on the field. You like to see that. Keeps everyone entertained. Keeps everyone uh, having fun. First and 10 right now. Hurts rolling out to the right. Big throw in the snow. Caught by Quez. And Quez dives into the end zone for a touchdown. Philadelphia retaking the lead right now. It's just a matter of fact of how much extra that lead's going to go by. Extra point will be up. And field goal attempt will be a fake. Going to pass right there, but broke, broken up. All right, not probably the smartest game plan idea, but... Two-point conversion, no good. First and ten, here we go. Forcing that offensive line back, which then forces Kirk Cousins all the way back, which then forces a big 12-yard sack right there from Marlin, number 95. So 93 is going to be Milton. Second and 22 right now. Hargrave wrecking havoc on that O-line right now. Comes up for his first sack. Then makes it a third and 30. Big three and 30. All right, let's get this one. Pressure going to come in off the edge. That's going to be dumped out of bounds on the left side. No one no one close to that one. Third and nine for Philadelphia. Hurts checks that one down to Goddard, who runs up the field for that first down. He just had that nice turn, turn movement to go for him. Up over 100 passing yards, which is nice. Second and three. You know, screen pass. Blocks get picked up by Sayamalu and Sanders. Makes the man miss as we're down at the 21-yard line. Just shy of the red zone. Second and seven. Here we go. We have a wide open. That's going to be Jameson Williams who's going to tiptoe into the end zone right there for his first receiving touchdown of the game. Big play right there for the Eagles on offense as they go up 26-14. to now, Kirk Cousins rolling around the backfield, throwing on the run, and that catch will be no good. Out of bounds. Down the half. 
Take a look at the halftime stats. 27% of the time, uh, the Vikings are running the ball inside for 38 yards. Not very effective on the ground, I see. Eagles running inside 58% of the time for a buck 19, averaging 7 yards a carry. So Philadelphia is running the ball far more, far, you know, a lot better. They're a lot better the whole run game than Dalvin Cook and the Vikings are. Just saying. That's what I'm trying to say. Now 17, 134, Miles Sanders. Hurts going to roll out to the left. Hurts throwing sideline. Third and 11 is going to be no good. Forcing a punt right there. It's going to be a third and six for the Vikings. Who check it down to Cook. And that's going to be short by a couple yards right there. Kavon Wallace on the stop. Fourth and three. They're going for it. And uh, they got it. Pass number 17 right there. That's going to be the first down. First and ten for the 22. Handoff play action. To a, to a check down at. To a check down at the first down marker. Okay. Third and four, Kirk Cousins firing to Cook, and Cook gets in for the touchdown. It's going to be his first receiving touchdown of the game for Dalvin. All right, Philadelphia up by five now. Looking to try and burn as much clock as possible on a third and seven. Hurts tries to scramble. He's going to come for a yard short right there. After the punt right there, it goes to the hands of Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. Cousins under pressure. And Cousins goes down via the sack. Flipping the field down on their 43. A 13-yard loss on that sack. Third and 14 right now for the Vikings. Can fill up his defense. Hold and zone. Picked off. Picked off by Steven Nelson. They were targeting Osborne in the end zone. And Steven Nelson said, give me that. With 4.15 here left in the quarter. Going to need a couple handoff to Miles Sanders. And Sanders breaks free for a big run. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, the 5. And a massive celebratory touchdown right there. Giving Philadelphia. What is it? What is 5 plus 7? They're giving them the lead. Doesn't matter. They're up by 12 right now. First and goal. Minute, minute 19 left. Sacked by Graham. Second and goal. Kirk Cousins. Sacked again by Brandon Graham. Third and goal from the 27. Kirk Cousins. Firing end zone. Broken up by big play Slay right there. Going for Thielen. Fourth and goal. 28 seconds left. Bend. Don't. Break. Defense. Firing end zone. And that's going to be broken up again. Mixed between big plays Slay and Kavon Wallace. 22 seconds left here in the game. And Sanders gets the handoff. And he's going to cough the ball up right there. Picked up by the Vikings defense. So Deuce Slay trying to be cute with it. Kind of cost him a stat right there. But big play Slay says, give me that. Garbage fumble. We're going to get an interception right there. We're going to steal this game off. One interception. Seven tackles for big plays Slay. Now with one second left. Sanders going to get a revenge run right here. He's on the races. He's at the 15, the 10, the 5, and another big touchdown for Miles Sanders. You love to see that right there. Miles Sanders, a revenge touchdown on that cheap hit. Try to run out the clock right there. Get the first down. Get that clock moving. Thank you. On to the next one. But Sanders gets the big touchdown right there at the end of the game. Makes this a 39, was it 39 to 11 game? 39 13 game? I don't know. 39 14, maybe. I think that's what the score was. 39 14. But Hurts celebrating with everyone. It's actually 39 21. Closer than I thought. They scored three touchdowns. The Vikings did. I thought, though, I had two touchdowns. But Philadelphia wins the division round next week on the conference round. But Hurts. 7 for 11, 2 touchdowns and an interception. A buck 34 for passing yards, buck 36 actually. Sanders, 298, 4 touchdowns, 1 fumble on that late cheap hit. Receivers, no one really did much. Touchdown by Williams and Quez Watkins. Johnson and Dickerson both had pancakes. 7 tackles led the team. 4 tackles for loss led the team. 2.5 sacks led the team from Brandon Graham. 2 from Hargrave. Second half from Sweat. Sack from. Um, Marlon, two interceptions on the game for Philadelphia. 
And then you see right here, special teams did their thing. Punting was not in our favor only. Was that 32 yards a punt almost? 32 and a half yards a punt. Not great for J.K. Scott. Return-wise, not much on the return game here in Philadelphia. But after that game, Jason Kelsey goes, Hey, you know, I was on the field. You know, I was the biggest trailer. I, You could hear me from the bleachers, from the nosebleeds. You can hear me cheering on my Philadelphia Eagles. Jason Kelsey, you know, saying it was a great win this week. And we, we're not done yet. On to next week, on to the conference finals. Hopefully on to the Super Bowl then. But if you guys did enjoy this episode, that like button, comment down below your favorite part of the episode was. And definitely stay tuned for episode 41 of our series as we move on to the conference finals. But next time on YouTube though, peace out, rock on, super classy, and I'll catch you on the next upload.